Americans spend billions annually on cosmetic procedures, and some of these plastic surgery clients are your favorite stars. Unfortunately, things don't always go according to plan. In fact, sometimes things go terribly wrong. Brace yourself for these embarrassing celebrity plastic surgery blunders. My name is Farrah Abraham, and my lips blew up on social media. Teen Mom star Farrah Abraham didn't let a botched lip procedure ruin her passion for plastic surgery, even if the ordeal was terrifying. During the harrowing experience which she discussed on The Doctors, the starlet admitted her lips swelled up before she even got a single permanent injection. As soon as he touched my lip with whatever numbing product he was putting in there, my lip was having an allergic reaction. Due to the seriousness of the situation, she was rushed to the ER. I'm just really thankful that I'm alive. Abraham visited with the doctors on E's hit series Botched, who told her just how risky that snafu really was. Dr. Terry Dubrow warned her, "...smelling could have gone into your tongue, the back of your throat, cut off your airway, and basically choked you to death." But this wasn't Abraham's only plastic surgery blunder. According to The Mirror, the star had a breast augmentation procedure for the third time in 2015 to fix burning and pain issues from surgeries past. And it seems like her young daughter Sophia has also caught the vanity bug, because she reportedly already asked her mama for veneers. Khloe Kardashian is no stranger to amazing transformations. According to Us Weekly, the reality star started hitting the gym to de-stress during her divorce from Lamar Odom and ended up sticking with it. But the Revenge Body host didn't stop there. After giving birth to her baby girl, True, in 2018, Kardashian was almost back to pre-baby weight in a matter of months, according to People. But as far as transformations go, Kardashian probably isn't rating her foray into facial fillers anywhere near the top of the list. I don't know if it's Botox or filler. Like, I don't, everyone says, well, which one? I did one of them. My whole face went numb and I could not make, oh. I had to dissolve everything. Though plumped up lips proved to be sibling Kylie Jenner's claim to fame, a plumper pout didn't do the same for Chloe. The starlet admitted that she felt like it left her face totally messed up. She said on an episode of her show, Cocktails with Chloe, it did not work for me. I looked crazy, and I still think the effects are in there. Kathy Griffin has always been a comic of great controversy. She went from my life on the D-list to life on the blacklist following an unfortunate social media scandal that led her straight into a secret service investigation. While she always manages to bounce back, this habit of flirting with disaster also includes cosmetic procedures. While Griffin had been open about the work she's had done in a makeup tutorial with mogul Jeffree Star, the comedian admitted that she kicked the plastic surgery habit because I realized I did not turn into Jennifer Aniston, which was the plan. The star claims she was botched by botched in the early aughts following an upper lip chemical peel performed by one of the doctors on E's reality show. She was supposedly left with permanent discoloration, yet this was hardly the worst of it. According to People, Griffin suffered near-fatal complications after receiving liposuction on her stomach, thighs, and the inside of her knees in 1999. She said, "...when I woke up, I was not able to pee. I got toxicity and had to go to the emergency room and wear a catheter for a week. It was life-threatening, and the results were non-existent." I started running after that and got much better results. Priscilla Presley is no pink Cadillac, but that didn't stop an alleged doctor from injecting her face with what's essentially auto shop grease. The former wife of the king of rock and roll was subject to a terrifying plastic surgery scam in the early aughts that put a gigolo behind bars. TMZ reports that Priscilla saw Dr. Daniel Serrano sometime around 2003. The Argentinian doctor had been doling out alleged miracle injections that worked better than Botox to Hollywood A-listers, which included Larry King's wife, Sean King. The price of each injection was no more than $500, and Serrano made house calls. Seems like a dream come true, right? Nope. Serrano wasn't actually a licensed doctor. According to the Daily Mail, he was only licensed as a nurse when Presley fell victim to the scam. Worse yet, his miracle injections were nothing more than low-grade industrial silicone, the same stuff used to lube up your car when it's in the shop. Denise Richards planned her 2018 surprise wedding in less than 48 hours, got a wedding dress made in less than 24, and was voted worst Bond girl ever, yet still emerged as an achingly beautiful actress-slash-model-slash-reality star. Still, even Richards isn't immune to the odd plastic surgery disaster. Is this all gonna be on the internet? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> 
She admitted to Us Weekly that she regrets getting a boob job, saying she was just 19 years old and didn't properly research her doctor because she was in such a hurry to have larger breasts. He ended up putting in bigger implants than she requested. She had a second breast surgery to correct the issue but somehow emerged with even bigger implants. She said, I felt very vulnerable. I was getting ready to film wild things and I didn't want to get into a lawsuit with some plastic surgeon. It wasn't right what the doctor did, but it is what it is. Richards eventually got a third surgery to get the size she had always wanted. She told the mag, I'm happy with them now, but in a year, that could change. Cardi B's plastic surgery story was bred partly from money moves and partly from insecurity. According to GQ, the rap superstar initially got butt implants to make more money while stripping, but also because her boyfriend had cheated on her with a woman who had, well, a lot of junk in her trunk. I used to get popping in that pole, you know what I'm saying? The rapper told Vlad TV, I was desperate to have a bigger ass, and then almost every girl was going to this lady and it's like, well, give me her number and hook me up. Cardi's procedure, which is banned in the States, cost her just $800 but was the craziest pain she's ever experienced. The Bodak Yellow Star told GQ that it hurt so much she thought she might pass out. The injection reportedly leaked for nearly a week, and by the time she went back for a touch-up, the supposed plastic surgeon was reportedly in jail because someone allegedly died on her table. Rumor has it Cardi's basement butt fillers didn't hold up so well during childbirth, either. We don't know if that's true, but the singer did claim on Instagram Live. My ass is broken. <laughs> Yo, this baby broke my ass. Tori Spelling told Lenny that her daughter Stella was shattered to find out her boobs were fake. And as it turns out, Spelling isn't so thrilled about them either. Beyond calling them, quote, the worst ever, the actress endured complications since going under the knife. In a 2011 interview with Good Morning America, Spelling claimed that she'd never have gotten her breasts done if she had known it would or could possibly impact production of milk. By 2014, she still wasn't pleased with her surgery situation, and her implants were hotly debated on her reality TV show, True Tory. According to the Daily Mail, her breasts were expired and recalled and were actually hardening and should have been removed 15 years ago. That's easier said than done, though. Spelling worried about anesthesia and about her husband, Dean McDermott, not liking the results. She told the news outlet, If someone had said to me when I was 20 years old, by the way, every 10 to 15 years you're going to need to get these suckers replaced, I wouldn't have done it. Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent lives a very fearless lifestyle. She's got no qualms about sucking down a baby bottle filled with warm milk before bed, dating a married older man who's now her fiancé and regularly telling off former BFF James Kennedy. Basically, Lala does what Lala wants. And if that means getting facial fillers, that means getting facial fillers. At least, until it doesn't. She told People, So, I've had every part of my face injected. But she says she's breaking up with the cheekbone filler and the Botox in her forehead and lips because... I just feel like I look like a walking cat duck. It looks like a cat and a duck had a baby and that was me. For a time, seeing Tara Reid in a bikini was as rare as an actual Sharknado. The actress famously covered up after a string of botched procedures in the early 2000s. According to Us Weekly, she didn't publicly wear a two-piece bathing suit for more than five years. So what happened? In 2006, the actress told the mag that her surgeon increased the size of her breast implants despite her request for big Bs. An accidental 2004 nip slip revealed things were even worse than the tabloids thought, and the subsequent photos that circulated online devastated the star. Reid also received body contouring from the same doctor, which had similarly horrifying results. She said, My stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Reed eventually had corrective surgery, and today she flaunts her figure like nobody's business. Heidi Montag had everyone's worst plastic surgery nightmare come true. She literally died, if only for a minute. According to Entertainment Tonight, the MTV reality star underwent almost a dozen surgeries, ranging from fat injections in her face and pinned back ears to breast implants and a nose job in the span of 24 hours. Montag admitted it was a rock-bottom moment in her life, telling Paper, Spencer at one point thought that he lost me, like that I had died for a minute. Heidi was in recovery on Demerol for the extreme pain when her security guards called Spencer to tell him, Heidi's heart stopped and all the nurses are in here and everything is like an emergency and um, she's not going to make it. Today, Montag is a proud mother and she admits the later seasons of her reality show The Hills are now hard to watch. She told Entertainment Tonight, I think that it was hard enough going through it at that time and I was just in way over my head. I had no idea what I was getting into. I was just making very reckless, impulsive decisions. I was too young to be making decisions like that that are life-altering. 
It's no secret that people online are starting to look a whole lot like everyone else on the internet thanks to the same filters and editing tools. But back in the 80s, distinctive features set stars apart. And no one knows this better than Jennifer Grey, who blames her nose job for what became a major career setback. You don't want to talk about your problem? With you, are you serious? Grey rose to fame starring in 1987's Dirty Dancing. Two years after the movie premiered, she got what she called the nose job from hell. In an interview with The Mirror, the star claimed, "...I went into the operating room with Celebrity and came out anonymous. I'll always be this once-famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job." Thankfully, some of her more recent endeavors don't require facial recognition. She found success in the world of voice acting, where she spent six years voicing characters on the animated series Phineas and Ferb. She also landed a role in the short-lived Amazon Prime series, Red Oaks. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.